Hey, once again, nerds of YouTube. Today, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about why you might want to use Tmux or like what it is because I did an example video of like how you can replicate my Tmux setup, but I didn't get into the details of like what Tmux is, why you, like why you might want to use it, how it's helped my workflow, all that stuff. So I'm covering that today. So first things first, Tmux is what's called a terminal multiplexer. It allows you to easily switch between different programs in one single terminal and you can detach from it, reattach from it from a different machine. So I'm sure you're already kind of thinking of like how this might apply to your workflow. So you could basically have a work session, like a Tmux session that you're using for all of your work stuff, right? So you've got multiple terminal windows open uh, in your Tmux session and you're constantly navigating through that. You got code open, you got all this stuff that's in the work in progress but you wanna leave work and you wanna go home and do your stuff at home. So you leave work, you can actually just leave it running, you can detach the Tmux session, whatever, leave your work computer on or like whatever the server is that the Tmux is running on, leave that on, head home, connect from your computer at home by just attaching to the Tmux session that is connected to your server. So you connect into your server normally, but you're basically SSHing and attaching to the Tmux session instead of just an SSH to the regular terminal. And so what that does is that you're gonna have the exact same experience, the same state that your Tmux session was in while you were at work. You're now experiencing that on a different computer and you're able to interact with everything the same way that you normally would if you, uh, just like you were doing at work. So super convenient. You can obviously access it from multiple machines, have multiple connections, all of that stuff. But a huge thing is that if there is any kind of like interference or there's any any connection dropping, anything that might affect your ability to connect to the server, Tmux is actually just gonna protect kind of the state of it. So when you're connected to a Tmux session, that session is gonna continue to exist. It's not like when you SSH into a regular, um, like when you just use SSH normally and you're connecting to a server, if you're running some super long process and that connection gets interrupted, you kind of just like lose where you are. Whereas with Tmux, you can actually just reattach and it will just kind of maintain that state, continue where you left off. So it's super, super valuable for that. It also allows you to work with multiple shells, multiple programs in a single terminal. So basically every time that you're creating like a new window in Tmux, it's going to be like a brand new uh, like basically like session, like shell session, do you know what I mean? So it's it's a great way to actually like organize your workspace and if you wanna like run your code and also have like your like NeoVim open and different things like that, you can basically just have those open in different uh, Tmux windows. And the super cool thing is too, is that pretty much, I mean, I would say almost instantaneously, you can change between different sessions. What, that, what I mean by that is that you can have your work session and have all of your Tmux windows open. Everything, everything that you need for work is open. And then you decide, okay, I'm just sick of touching this code. I can't look at this anymore. You wanna change over to like maybe working on a side project, just having some fun at the terminal. You can just open up, create a new session and attach to it. And your previous uh, Tmux session that you just detached from, which like your work session, will just continue to stay in the same state that you left it. And you can just detach from your play one, reattach to your work one whenever you want to switch back and forth. And just like, you don't have to continuously like set up the same environment again. And so it's really cool for that. And of course it gives you this, this like reliability that you wouldn't normally expect when you are connecting to other machines. So it's super, super valuable. There's so many more things I feel like that you can do with it that I haven't really explored yet, but pretty much in my own workflow, it's allowed me to basically have my desktop as my like center of truth, I guess. So I actually do like all of my development, which is, so my desktop is a Linux environment, which is really nice. Love it, love it. Um, <laughs> but basically it's allowed me to connect from my laptop to my desktop and do so like just by attaching to the Tmux session. So if I'm in the middle of working on something on my desktop and I just need to step away or like I need to move around, I can just reattach to it on my laptop and it's the exact same state that I left it in on my desktop. And it is so nice, so revolutionary. 
I'm super excited to get more familiar with it, but so far this is what I've learned and I hope that you can find some value in it. If you have anything that you're unsure about, like what it can do, you wanna explore the functionality more, don't forget to check out the man pages. So if you run man tmux, if you have tmux installed, that is, if you run man tmux in your terminal, you'll be able to see the man pages for tmux, which will have all of the commands that you can, the subcommands that you can use and just give you way more context on like what the full capability is of tmux. And if you wanted to search that, you can do like slash and then whatever keyword you wanted to search for. So in this case, I did detach and now I can see if I hit N, you can also hit P to go previous, N for next, and it'll show you all of the times that that word is mentioned in the document. So super helpful, highly recommend trying it out. Let me know if there's anything, any ways that you use Tmux that I didn't mention. I'm super curious to hear how you guys use Tmux. If you don't use Tmux and you like prefer something else, also let me know. Uh, just in general, I love hearing from you guys. So leave a comment if you have anything to share. I love, love, love reading your comments. I'm excited to continue exploring Tmux and I hope that this helps someone just, just give some context around what Tmux is, how you can use it, and why it might add some value to your workflows. I'll see you next time. Bye.